actually um, experiencing the need to have access to big data analytics in order to have uh, provide uh, to the top management the al alarms and messages saying the organization is going in this direction, we are witnessing the current, these trends and we need to proceed in that direction so that uh, companies could correct the way they are going. And um, robotics is definitely one of the answers and we are implementing also robotics in global services, global operations, um, shared service organization and big data analytics is something which will change the way we do our reporting. So these two um, factors will have a huge impact in the way um, that finance works for the closing and reporting but also on, will allow us to take uh, decisions based on this. Surely both of them, there are both, in the sense, internal for sure, cost reduction. So um, we have witnesses, we have witnessed cost reductions which are really, really amazing from one point of view. And uh, other, other, other objectives are improvement of the quality. And by eliminating human errors, you are by default improving quality and time to completion of the processes are are amazingly uh, faster, so um, there's no pauses, there's no breaks, there's no eight-hour shifts, uh, so it's inevitable that this is a trend. But it can't be the only solution and the only answer to problems, so we can't, not everything will be able to be automized. So we need to find a compromise between what uh, transaction rule-based uh, part of the processes can be automized and what should be uh, left to human <laughs> and externals where well, we have to stay ahead of competition so in specifically in certain markets where competition is really tough you have to be the best in class be ahead of the competition and in order to do this you need to be lean and efficient and reduce your costs That's interesting because that's the focal point, I think, of the discussion. Um, um, by uh, eliminating, let's say, uh, or uh, optimizing the number of uh, resources in shared services, for example, in finance, uh, taking care of operational tasks, then uh, you have uh, to understand what's the, the, the right balance between uh, people, talent retention, uh, robotized processes, and uh, automated reporting. Uh, I think it's important now for the companies to try to attract, hire and retain talents. And the, I think the current threats are actually others for the time being, it's not RPA. It's economical crisis or what's going on in the world now. Currently it's refraining companies from being able to, to do this, so to, to acquire talents and retain them. That's the main challenge I think we're facing now. They definitely have an impact on the companies because there is also, for example, for multinational companies, there's also a social factor. Um, you can't just lay off thousands of people to create, create a social impact. And that's something you need to discuss also maybe with the government. Um, so it's a matter of redeployment people, redeploying people and maybe changing the job profiles of the finance roles and other operational roles in the logistics, for example, or the management supply chain. And uh, the CFO is seen now as, I mean, the problem solver. So we see that a lot of functions are coming to the CFO and expect the CFO to solve the issues. So we are kind of problem solvers for the organization, but we also have to stay ahead of the trends uh, in order to perform uh, better and, uh, and just be the best in class in what we do. We are facing issues there, um, not due to the RPA, 
uh, yet, at least. <laughs> we'll see what will, uh, what will be the future. But um, the problem is how to attract talents where companies are very focused on the cost consciousness and have, for example, multinational big companies have a, quite a lot of overhead and they're trying to optimize that. And they are in a, in a phase where they are freezing uh, hirings, for example, and then we are losing also on uh, talent. And talent are the leaders of tomorrow. So uh, as much as you could robotize or automate processes and things and process, I mean, uh, you will always need leaders, leaders and people, ta uh, you know, making managerial decisions and telling the company what to do, where to go, analyzing the processes. I attended the CFO boardroom yesterday. It was really interesting to network with other CFOs and uh, with other big companies and exchange information and see how other companies are approaching the same set of issues that I might be facing in my company. And it's really interesting to see that there are many common problems, many common issues, and the approach to, the, to those issues vary a lot. And it's just a matter of time. Time will say um, what's the best approach. Um, another highlight of the day was, I mean, I'm very happy about the inter interaction. Uh, so, for example, the, the people bingo, that was a funny thing to do. I uh, really enjoyed that. And hope, looking forward to the rest of the day and tomorrow.